Who does this? Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard, uh, recently the White House had a pride event and they invited a whole bunch of uh, you know, influencers and alphabet individuals to this event. What happened is the controversy arose where you have this individual who is Rose Montagna, I believe, who is a trans woman and they posted a, a TikTok. Now in the TikTok, you know, they're showing that this individual is celebrating and whatnot. And there's about a second where you have three people who are all topless. Now, this has led to outrage by the conservatives. Rightfully so, mind you. Now, if I can just pause for a second, let me just say this. Who does something like this, all right? This is so classless and tacky and tactless. Like, who does something like this? What this... From my experience with the alphabet here in LA, most, most of them I would say are pompous, okay, and very pretentious. I don't see <laughs> a lot, anyone, you know, in the right mind, and there's jokes there, mind you, uh, who would go around topless at the White House, right? Like this is the White House, this isn't a bar, this isn't a club, this is the White House. You're topless at the White, on, you know, on the White House lawn. Like, it's so, so, I won't even say disrespectful. It's just, it's tacky, bro. And it honestly just goes to show that this person was just a trashy man before they became a trashy trans woman. That's what, that's what it proves to me. Nevertheless, I digress, this leads us into the conservative outrage, which then, uh, the White House actually responds with saying, hey, this is absolutely disrespectful. Everyone in this video is now banned from future events at the White House. You know, <laughs> kudos to the White House. Nevertheless, the TikToker influencer individual uh, comes out and put out a post in response to this ban. And it's very much yada, 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 free the nipple. That's <laughs> First of all, going topless in Washington, D.C. is legal. And I fully support the movement in freeing the nipple because why is my chest now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off? Long story short, that's, that's pretty much what this individual says. Now, they do bring up an inter interesting point. And the point that they brought up in their TikTok was that, hey, essentially you being outraged by this conservatives, you guys are pretty much affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing is saying that trans women are women because for some reason, people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate. And I was, I was upset, but I was like, you know what? He's out of line, but he's right. Because let's think about this. If Blair White were to, you know, go around topless, would, would, would people have a problem with that? Like, would you have a problem with that? Would you consider that indecent exposure or whatnot? Because it's not really indecent exposure for a man to walk around topless. Now, in the TikTok, they also uh, mentioned that, oh, it's legal in, 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 in D.C. or Washington or whatever. It's like, yeah, just because it's legal doesn't mean that it's appropriate for the event, okay? I just, it's, it's such a stupid argument that this person makes. But nevertheless, uh, so that is... That is a, an interesting point that, that's brought up, right? Because if you believe that a trans woman is in fact a man and they're not women, then you shouldn't have a problem with the trans man or, or, or a man uh, walking around topless because it's a man. Now, if you believe trans women are real women, which is uh, a sentiment that the White House uh, seems to uh, undertake, then in fact, then yes, that would be indecent exposure and that's inappropriate behavior to do at the White House. So I thought that was uh, very interesting. I'm curious what you guys happen to think about that. Like, would you consider that indecent exposure? Because even though, you know, it's a biological man, they do have, you know, albeit, you know, fake uh, uh, chest. You know, they got fake, you know, I implants. But what, what, would you consider them to be, uh, uh, you know, indecent exposure? They will walk around like that? Or is it, you know, uh, I wonder what, what's the nuance there? I, I, I don't know, man, because at the same time, I keep hearing, yo, you can look 
however you want. You can have uh, cosmetic surgery. You can mutilate your body. At the end of the day, you're still a man. And it's like, okay, I hear you. I understand. But they seem to have all female body parts due to this cosmetic surgery. Now, even though it may be a biological man with female body parts, do we still consider that like indecent exposure? Is, is that bad because it, it, it's a female boobies or is it a male boob? I, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what is PC. I don't know what's correct. I don't know what's, uh, uh, I know what's wrong. Okay. I know what's wrong. A man with boobies. That's wrong. Okay. That, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying I love everybody. Okay. We're all God's children, <laughs> but I, 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 at the end of the day, I was like, okay, that's, that's interesting, but um, yeah, I, I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't be comfortable with that. I'll just say it. I'll just leave it there. But this whole this whole incident is dumb. It's just dumb from start to finish. For anyone to do something like that, and then they try to say, "Oh, I was just caught up in the moment. I was just caught up being free." My, I don't want to hear that nonsense. Okay, I don't want to hear that bullcrap. This is the type of a uh, whole logic I talk about on, on uh, a peep game Tuesdays, where you know you have women who backwards, you know, rationalize everything. Well, I was just, I was just in the moment. I was just having fun with the friends. Stop it, stop, miss me with this nonsense, okay? Miss me with this nonsense, especially coming from a biological man. Oh, I was just, you know, I was just, you know, having fun with the friends. I just wanted to be free. Stop it, bruh, stop it, okay? M miss me with this nonsense. Nevertheless, uh, that's, uh, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe Lucas, 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 that is a woman, okay? Trans women are women, all right? That is, it is what it is. And what's wrong? Free the nipple, okay? What's wrong with women's nipples and men's nipples? So they're all nipples. What's the issue here? Or if you don't believe, you know what? I could very much back free the nipple campaign. I may very much be behind that 100%. Ladies, free the nipple, okay? My nipples and your nipples are equal. The, you want to know what's stopping uh, women from going around top, topless? Patriarchy. That's what's stopping it. Misogyny. That's what's stopping it. Okay? And as a feminist, all right, I'm a male feminist, I believe in free the nipple. So all you ladies out there that have amazing, beautiful, perky uh, breastesses, free them. All of you got saggy, nasty looking, you know, stuff on your, you know, you know, don't free them, okay? Keep them locked up in a prison, all right? Alcatraz, some mofos. But for the rest of you, free them, all right? You are God's creatures. You and I are equals, okay? I want you all to free them. Then we need to have another campaign that says free the booty, okay? A man's butt and a woman's buddy. Okay, we need equality. That's what we need, ladies, Free the booty and, and the nipple, okay? For all y'all who have flat butts, please lock them up. Wear two pants, okay? Jeans and some slacks. We don't want to see any of that. For the rest of y'all, free. Be free. Be, be who God made you to be, all right? Eve was naked in the, gar in the garden, all right? Be free. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with the video, you're more than welcome to call in during Disagreement Days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Free the nipple or, you know, what's, what's, what's the take there with men getting implants or women getting implants? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, and all... Oh, that fun stuff. Until next time, guys, be amazing. Free them.